Hello, everyone, and welcome to Authentic Now Yoga, the online yoga studio for anybody and everybody. My name is Jody Pinule, and today we're going to have a class devoted to tension. Well, actually, the release of tension. So everybody holds tension in their bodies, in their emotions, and in their minds. And whether it's from this morning or from decades ago, we want to find a way to release that. And the more present and aware you can be, the more able you are to notice where there's tension, where you're holding it, and then you have the option and the opportunity to release it. So that's what we'll be doing with this class, mostly physically, but if you notice it mentally, emotionally, we can work with that as well. So one of the easiest and simplest ways to release tension is simply through the breath. So through just like nice, easy sighs. And if you feel comfortable making a sound, that's even better. So just nice full inhalations. <sighs> Let's do two more. Whew. <sighs> Nice, I really notice the tension right here. We'll work with that. Another easy way to um, release tension with your breath is to imagine that you're sending your breath to whatever body part in particular that you are feeling the tension. So if you're in a pose and you're like, mm, my butt's kind of cramping, send your breath there. Just imagine that your breath is going there. You can also like intend that it just release because there's some parts you just aren't going to be able to really get to unless you're just sending it with your breath or with your intention. Um, you can massage that area where you might be feeling tense. You can shake it out. We're going to be doing all these today. And then the last one is squeeze and release. So squeeze and release. And so we'll do that with our bodies. We're going to start with our toes and just grip those toes super tight. Yes, and then release. And then kind of flex those ankles. Actually, do the whole lower leg. So squeeze the knees, the calves, the ankles, and then release. And you could do a little sigh with them if you want. Um, squeeze your thighs, your hip flexors, your lower belly. Release. Squeeze your glutes, pelvic floor. Ah, release. Let's work our way up our torso. You can squeeze your abs. And release. So you can squeeze your back muscles. You might need to do a little tiny bit of a back bend, but just bring those shoulder blades down maybe. And then release. Now let's take our shoulders up towards our ears. Super tight. And release. Let's do that one more time. Let them really fall. Squeeze up towards your ears. See if you can touch them. And release. Nice. And then let's squeeze the jaw and the mouth. So like, make your meanest, poutiest, whatever face. And release it. And then squeeze your eyes shut. Like you don't want to see that scary scene in the movie. And release. And then we're just going to take our hands and massage the jaw avoiding my microphone. Yes. And then stick out your tongue. Ah. Nice. Okay, so bonus, you're now very present and your body has a little less tension in it. So as we work through the practice, we work through the poses, you're going to have the option to practice any one of these methods for releasing any tension that you find. So we're gonna turn on our little tension trackers and <laughs> they're gonna doot, 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 find out where the tension is 
and then give you the option to release it. All right, so we're gonna start with our fingers. So see if you can isolate the fingers from the wrist. See if you can let that part flop. Yes, and then you can bring the wrist in more so the whole hand can flop. And then let's take from the elbow down. Just shake it, shake it, shake it. And then from the shoulders down, you can bring the shoulders in there too. Nice. A little more. I feel a little tension in my right shoulder, which is not a surprise, but I want to try and loosen that up a little bit. Yes. Great. And then we're going to kick our legs out. I'm going to turn sideways because I have a short little runway. But just pick one leg. Take your hands behind you so you're nice and supported. And then try and do the same thing. See if you can isolate the toes. I mean, that's a little bit tougher, but you can wiggle that around. See if you can just get those toes wiggled. <laughs> wiggled. And then your foot. Back and forth, up and down, whatever works. And then just kick out from the hip. Just really flick it out. See if you can imagine all this tension that you're holding in your pelvic bowl and in your glutes and your thighs. You're just flicking that out your toes. Nice. And then let's switch sides. So start with the toes and the foot. Really get in there and then kick and flick all the way from the hip. Yes. Nice. All right. Let's do one more little thing for our spine, kind of wring out some tension from the spine. So let's plug in the sit bones, grow the spine nice and tall up from the crown. Let's take our Right hand behind us, take the left hand to the outside of the right knee and we'll just find a little spiral. And I like to just imagine like a dish towel or a beach towel, you're wringing it out. So maybe not quite as aggressively <laughs> as you might with a towel, but just get that sense of you're just gonna wring out some tension. Keep the shoulders from cranking up towards the ears. Yeah, okay, inhale, tall, come on back. We'll switch sides. So left hand goes behind, right hand goes to the outside of left knee. Ground those sit bones, really grow the spine up from the crown and then find your spiral. Just give it a little squeeze all along that vertical. Yes. I, apparently I really need this class because I keep going, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's move into a child's pose. So here, we're gonna spend a few breath cycles, find your child pose, whatever kind of modification you might need, and then give yourself time to say, to find that tension. Where is it? Are you holding in your right kidney? Or is it your left uh, shoulder or neck? Whatever that is, you can spend a little time here. Massage, breathe. Do whatever feels right. Wiggle. I love wiggling. I think it's great. All right, so we're gonna bring ourselves out of that into an all fours position. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. And then just do a little wiggling here. See if you notice any tension. Yep, lower back. I'm just gonna make a few shapes, movements to help with that. And please feel free, this is your class. You can stop, you can go, you know, I just really need to massage that. You can break form, in other words. Okay, 
So we'll just return back to our neutral, all fours position, tabletop, shoulders set, and then let's curl the toes under. We'll push our hips back, work our way to our down dog position. You take time, you notice where is the tension, where could I use a little extra attention? Hmm. Beautiful. Let's walk our feet to our hands. Give ourselves that same kind of treatment. Working it into a forward fold. Whatever feels best for the body. Whatever's going to keep it loose, keep it um, free and kind. <laughs> nice. All right, let's roll ourselves all the way up. Nice. So we're going to just do some nice, easy twisting, but I want you to pay attention to this. Imagine there's a plumb line running right from the crown of my head all the way down to the floor. And I'm going to try and just keep myself aligned and anchored with that position as I just super easily twist. So I'm reaching up with the crown of my head, giving my spine some space here. Ooh, that was a nice little knee pop. Let those arms in particular really loosen up in the shoulders. Nice. And if you want, you can get them a little bit higher. Let them fly out a little bit more. Nice. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and set aside my enthusiasm. All right, so we're gonna do a round of sun salutations, but we're gonna do it with as, the least amount of tension as possible. So now there is a difference between holding tension and engagement. So engagement is there's life in, I have my muscles are turned on, but they're not gripping, they're just alive. So that's what we wanna look for while we're in, while we're moving through our postures. So let's come to the front of the mat. Hands in prayer pose, feet underneath the hips. Let's take a nice full breath cycle here. <sighs> Beautiful. Inviting in, we're going to do one more. Inviting in some light, some sunlight, some warmth. <sighs> nice. All right, let's release the arms. Bring them up over the head. Get a little back bend. Get a little, release that belly tightness. Yes, and then come forward into a forward fold. Bend your knees if you need to. We're going to step back with the right leg. Find a lunge here. So if you need to modify, do whatever you need to do. Put the knee down, whatever's comfortable. But what we want here is the knee is tracking over the ankle, the front knee. This leg is nice and aligned. The hips are square. The spine is long. And we're finding, is there any tension a little in that knee. What are you going to do? Breathe. Release. Nice. All right. Hands on the mat if they're not already there. Step that left foot back to meet the right. Find a down dog. Where do you notice tension? Do you need to wiggle something out? You are allowed. Dangle your head. Hmm. All right, we're going to come forward, knees, chest, chin, elbows in towards the ribs, butt sticks up in the air first, and then we slide down onto our bellies, reach those elbows away from the shoulder, or from the ears, shoulders away from ears, and just find your cobra. So keeping the pelvis on the mat. Nice. All right. Lower back down, push the hips back to down dog again. Notice anything different? We're going to step the right foot forward. If you need to help it, help it along. So the knee is over the ankle or the ankle is under the knee. 
Where is their tension? Where is their holding? Yep, I feel it. I see it right there. Two more breath cycles. Give yourself time to work with that. Yes, good. All right, let's step forward with the left. Find a forward fold here. Where are you holding? What is your little tension tracker radar spotting? I know exactly what mine is. Hmm. All right, so as we come up, legs are nice and engaged. Spine is nice and tall as we bring ourselves all the way back up. And then return to the first position. This is a half of a round, so we're going to do that again. I think I'll switch sides just so we can have the leg, same leg, front leg back. All right, nice full breath cycle again, inviting in warmth. Light, sun. Mm. Let's do one more, really. Let it release. <sighs> Excellent. Yoga is not meant to be stressful. Just want to put that in there. <laughs> All right. We're gonna, let's release the arms. Reach up towards the ceiling. So feel that from your ankles. Crease all the way up to your fingertips is lengthening. Oh, yes, you're, you're just like blowing things apart, releasing, holding all that tension. Yeah, let's come forward with all that length. Now your head is just reaching towards the mat from gravity. Nice. All right, we're going to step the left leg back into that lunge. Make your modifications. Find the tension. Choose your tool. Hmm. Beautiful. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Find a down dog. So hands are shoulder width, the fingers are spread wide. You've got a nice firm base for your hands. Where's the tension? Remember, it's different from engagement. Come up forward on your knees, your chest, your chin, butt in the air, and then slide down into your belly, up into your cobra. We're not going to stay here for attention tracking, but you might notice something. Beautiful. Let's release. Push the hips back. Down dog. Wiggle, wiggle. Step that left foot forward. Help it if you need to. Find your lunge. What do you notice? As you lengthen, yes. Step forward with the right, find a forward fold. Nice, engage those legs, lengthen that spine as you bring yourself all the way up. Reach open, yeah. Hands back to prayer pose. Nice breath. And just a few breath cycles here, allowing this to integrate into your body. You just got a lot of parts moving and enlivened. Mm. Beautiful release. Let's come to the center of the mat. So a few postures that I notice where I hold tension in some standing poses, in particular like side angle. So we'll work with that a little bit. Standing balancing postures, always an invitation for tension. 
Okay, so to find ourselves in our standing balancing posture, find your feet a leg length apart. And then we're gonna turn the left toes towards that wall, right toes come forward a little bit. Arms reach out in one nice long line. Take your shoulders up towards your ears and bring it back down again. Check in with that spinal alignment. Yes, nice. All right, we're gonna come into that front knee. So knee tracks over the ankle again. Let's just take the hand to the hip for right now. We're gonna take our elbow to our knee. If you need to scooch, make it a little bit wider. Go ahead and do that. So my elbow is moving down towards my knee. My shoulder is not collapsing. When I push my elbow down, that helps engage that shoulder. Nice. And now I have a nice long spine. I can keep this hand here, my right hand here, or I can reach it up and over my ear. Again, not squishing up my shoulder towards that ear, just giving a little space there. So this is a posture. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of engagement, but there doesn't really need to be any tension. Sometimes our tension is really in the breath. We're like, <laughs> gasping is a good sign that you're holding tension in your breath. I might be a little bit. But then find, see if you can find a way to find ease in this pose. Can you release something somewhere? Yes, one nice full breath. Beautiful, let that right arm bring you back up. And release. Feet parallel again. Shake anything out, reset, whatever you need to do in between. And then we'll take our left toes towards that wall. We'll bring the right toes a little bit further forward. Reach those arms out. Again, remind yourself where they shouldn't be, where the shoulders shouldn't be, and then just take them down. Check in with the vertical alignment, neutral pelvis, reaching up with the crown. Yes. All right, we're going to take the left hand to the hip. We're going to take the right elbow to the knee as we come into that knee. This is a great place to stay. You don't have to add anything on here. Nice, and if you want to though, you can reach this left arm palm up, up over the ear. Nice. Remember not to collapse the right shoulder. Engagement, not gripping, not See if you can find that. You're allowed to move if you need to take care of something, like right there. One more nice full breath. Feel it flow. Yes. Beautiful, everybody. Bring up. Let's hop or walk the feet together. Nice, wiggle if you need to wiggle. Shake anything out that's still holding. All right, let's do one standing balancing posture. I thought I knew what it was gonna be, but I'm trying to think. Yes, I'm gonna change my mind. Okay, let's anchor in that nice vertical engaged Standing posture. Collarbones nice and wide. Rib cage and pelvis neutral. Spine is tall. Muscles are engaged. Not tense. See if you notice any tension. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to just shift our weight over to our right leg. We're going to take the left ankle onto the right knee. Bring that foot a little bit of life that generally helps with the sticking. So you can stay here. This is a nice posture. If you want to, you can sit this down. Do a little chair pose. So if you're sitting it down though, try not to stick the butt out, tuck that under a little tiny bit, engage your core, engage your abs, keep your spine long.
can take it all the way forward if that works for you. I'm not going to in this moment. Tension, yep, got it. Bring yourselves out gently, mindfully. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, release. If you need to remind yourself what goes on here, and then we'll just simply switch sides. So take that ankle over the knee. If this is not going to work and you need help, you can take a strap around that ankle just to hold it there. If you're holding a strap, though, don't bend your arms. Just keep them nice and long. So that's a modification. If you want to sit that back, sit it back. Do you notice? Gosh, sometimes the tension is just in our minds. Just try and focus on your breath and let that go. Bring yourselves out mindfully, gently. Release. Nice. Let's just reach up. And then forward fold. <sighs> Work your way all the way back up again. Reach, grow, grow, grow. Forward fold. <sighs> reach, 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 reach. If that's too extreme for you, just go. <sighs> Nice. All right, let's come on down to the mat. We're going to find ourselves in a seated forward fold, ultimately. So if you need some props, something to help with that angle, if you're a little tight, go ahead and find that. Legs are hip width apart. When I'm seated, I like to imagine that I'm actually standing on those feet. It gives them nice position and engagement. And we're just going to find a staff pose, or dandasana. So the hands are next to your hips. And what I imagine, too, is that I'm standing on these legs, and then this is also a standing posture. So I'm trying to find that same vertical alignment. Yeah. So a few breath cycles here. Do you notice tension? Not, in, not the engagement kind, just tension, tension. And it might not be where you expect it to be. So it might not be in your arms. It might be in your jaw. Just, you know, personal <laughs> experience here. All right, let's release that. So if you need a strap for a forward fold, if you need uh, to bend your knees, that's another possibility. There's another video about modifications for seated forward fold. But first, let's grow that spine again. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling and then come forward. So any amount. All I want you to be paying attention to mostly is that this spine is nice and long and you're not curling back here. Trying to close this angle as much as you can. So if you need to bend your knees, go ahead. Yeah, and let's stay here for a few breath cycles so you can work out the tension. Remember, you can breathe, you can wiggle, you can shake, you can massage. You can intend. All right, let's inhale that nice tall spine. So we're gonna hug in the left knee and then we're gonna just drop it out to the side. So that foot comes up against that thigh. Find your height again. We're just gonna simply forward fold, but it changes things by having that knee out to the side, and then what do you notice? And is there something you'd like to take care of? Be kind to. All 
right. Inhale, tall spine. Walk yourselves back up. Let's bring that knee up and extend the leg. We'll bring the opposite knee up. Drop that down out to the side. Sit up nice and tall again. Reach, reach, grow. Forward fold. Direct that breath if you need to to any complainy parts. Nice. Let's do a little tiny bit for this posture. So we spent a lot of time in our Sukhasana or cross, easy seated pose, cross legged pose. Um, and so I thought, let's, let's work with it. Find your just default, whatever you normally go to in that posture. Nice. And then forward fold that. Not a space here, but I'm just walking my hands forward. And then you can walk your arms, your hands, I mean, to, from side to side, noticing where the tension is. What do you learn from changing your shape? All right, hands back to center and then walk yourselves back up. And then whatever you have here, see if you can recreate it with opposite leg on top, as close as you can. And then find your nice tall spine, and then we're going to bend that forward again. Breathe and wiggle, walk your hands side to side. Feel free to spend time if something needs your attention. Yeah, back to center and walk yourselves back up. Okay, let's come onto our bellies. I'm put my blanket back. So feet are roughly hip width apart. And we're going to take one hand on top of the other. Put your forehead and just rest it on the hands. <sighs> just let your body melt into the mat. Feel the heaviness. Feel gravity. And then just gently rock your hips back and forth. And you can make it small, you can make it bigger. Just notice if you feel any ease in your lower back. All right, come to stillness. And then let's bend the knees at about 90 degrees. Let's flex and point the feet, angles, toes. Make little circles. Reverse. Nice. And then from this, just toes pointed towards the ceiling, we're just going to windshield wiper our legs back and forth. And then really try and let that let go in your back, in your hips. One of my favorites for lower back tension. All right, bring your toes back up towards the ceiling. Press your pelvis into the mat so you feel that engagement in the glutes, the lower back, thighs. And then imagine I'm coming and I'm pulling your right 
toe up towards the ceiling. So I'm just lifting that knee and thigh off the mat and then lower that back down. Now I'm gonna pull your left toe up towards the ceiling and lower it back down. Try and keep the pelvis down towards the mat. Let's do one more each side. So now you know what's happening. Get that good pelvis good and grounded into the mat and then lift and lower. Lift the opposite one. You might notice one is easier or con <laughs> conversely harder. Nice. All right, now just kick your feet towards your bottom. Try and keep the pelvis down as sometimes can happen when you bring your foot towards your bottom, your hip flexors tighten up. So just try and keep that open. All right, release. We're gonna find a pose called flopping fish pose. So I'm gonna take one hand on top of the other like I had it, but I'm gonna scooch that all over to the right. And I'm gonna bring my right knee out and forward. And then I'm just gonna rest my head on my hands. And then see what happens. Has that tension tracker spotted anything? Two more breath cycles. Make good use of them if you want. Great, now bring that leg back to meet the other. Scoot your upper body over to the, well, your arms over to the left. Rest your head on your arms. Bring your left knee out and forward. Try and keep that pelvis opening towards the mat so you're not really twisting. Yes, remember the tension might be someplace other than you would expect. So it's good to check in with the whole body. It makes me think of how, I don't know if you ever noticed it when you're holding babies and sometimes they're all just chill, but like one foot is super tense. <laughs> Okay, one more breath cycle. Great, all right, bring your leg back to meet the other, bring your hands, take your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's just push back into a child's pose again. <sighs> Tension, release. What do you need? What would it take? You're doing great, by the way. So give yourself permission to wiggle. Give yourself permission to move to help take care of what anything you find. All right, we're going to come onto our backs. And let's just first start with the knees bent, feet hip width apart. Just going to let our spine release into the mat. You notice anything? I notice that my lower back is reluctant to release. And also, let's take the shame out of tension. It's normal.
All right, let's extend the legs. Let's reach the arms up overhead. And flex the feet again. Imagine you're standing on them. And imagine you're lengthening just as though you were standing, reaching for the ceiling. But still finding that alignment and still not having that be like a super intense action. Yeah, where do you see tension now? All right, release your arms. We're gonna hug in the left knee. Just give it a good squeeze. You can point that right toe. And then I'm gonna reach around and I'm gonna grab this foot, grab this shin, if that's possible. If you need a strap, go ahead, or a dish towel, whatever you've got. I'm gonna work on a reclined pigeon pose here. So all I'm doing is taking this shin and this knee, the knee's kind of coming out and the shin's coming forward. And I'm pointing this opposite leg toe just because if I were on flipped, <laughs> that toe would be pointed. Nice and easy, just working your way. Nothing crazy. What do you notice? All right, let's gently release the foot, bring the knee back to its position, give it one more squeeze, and then we'll switch sides. So first, just give that a nice little squeeze to open up the back there. And then we'll reach and we'll grab that foot and move that sh the knee out, point the extended legs, toe. And try not to um, have a lot of tension in your shoulders while you're working this leg towards you. I mean, obviously you have to use some muscles to pull the leg in that direction, but try not to have this Super tight thing happening up here. Nice, see if this hip flexor can lengthen any, the extended one. Yeah. Any other places where you notice tension? Send a little breath or do whatever you feel like you need to do. Yeah, all right, gently release the foot. Give the knee one more squeeze. And then take any shapes, movements, postures that your body is needing right now. You're so connected to it. You've listened to it for the past however many minutes. And it's just going, you know what? I nearly need goalpost arms or I don't know what your body's saying but you hopefully do. You've got permission to move any which way you need to. Yeah, let that breath move. All right, wrap up whatever it is you're doing. You can finish, but we're just going to work our way into our Shavasana, our narrow corpse pose. And if you want to, you can windshield wiper those feet, loosen up the hips, let them just flop out. You can tuck those shoulder blades under. Close your eyes if that's comfortable and just begin that process of, well, I'm going to say begin the process of letting go, but we've been doing that for a whole class period. We're just going to deepen it. 
the whole point of this time here is to let go is to do nothing but that you might notice some other places of holding it's a great time to practice some um, non-active ways of releasing I'll be quiet for another minute or two. Encouraging you to stay present with yourselves as opposed to thinking of your to-do list. With these next few breath cycles, just allow your breath to fill your whole being. Imagine that every little oxygen molecule that's coming is helping release tension. Every exhalation is distributing that tension out into the world where it's turned into just air. And then you can start to bring some life back into your body. <clears throat> and then you can roll onto your right side, resting your head on your upper arm. <clears throat> Curling the knees in. Noticing again if there's any tension here. And then just slowly, gently bring yourself up. Head comes up last. If there's any, I mean, if you're comfortable, keep your eyes closed. And then just finding your seated position. What does it feel like to be you right now? What do you notice? Do things feel different? Any last little release you want to take? Let's rub our hands together. Make a little bit of heat. Take the palms over the eyes gently. A little of that warmth sink in. And then just gently take your hands down your face, down your neck, down your shoulders and arms. Just give yourself a nice little energy bath. Soothing, calming, all the way down to your toes. Just hold on to the big toes for a breath cycle or two. Nice. <sighs> One more full breath cycle into the whole being that is you right now. Hmm. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Namaste. Wow, I hope you feel as great as I feel right now. <laughs> so, a class and some tools for you to take with you into your life. Thank you so much for watching, for practicing with me today. 
I hope that you are a member of our community. And if you're not, that you would consider subscribing. It's so fun to me to think about having a lot more people growing this community and feeling each other as we practice yoga together. All right. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.